jazzmagazine.com. And I wanted to bring to everyone's attention out there in Astroland a very special event that's going to be happening on January 15th, uh, this month, 2010, uh, Friday. It's an annular solar eclipse. Now, an annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is too small to visually cover the sun. So what happens is the moon is very near apogee. The moon just passed apogee, I believe it was, or it's coming up on apogee a day or two prior to the eclipse itself. And that's thus the moon is very far away from the Earth in its orbit. And the Earth just passed perihelion on January 2nd. That is all setting us up for a very small visual moon and a very large visual sun. That means when the moon passes in front, you'll get a bright annulus, which is surprisingly bright because I've seen an annular eclipse before from Sandusky, Ohio, back in 1994. So even a 1% eclipsed sun or 99% eclipsed and 1% of the visual sun is still actually a lot brighter than you would think when you're actually standing under it. This is all right, the animation pictured here is the Earth during the uh, path of the annular eclipse as seen from the moon rotating. This was created up in Starry Night. You see the path. It comes up through over in Maldives, India, up and through Asia, and then off into the sunset. The eclipse is very special because uh, at maximum annularity, it's going to be 11 minutes and 7.7 .7 seconds long. The maximum annularity occurs just off the coast of India. And the maximum possible you can have for an annular eclipse is 12 minutes and 24 seconds. This will not happen again. We won't have another annular eclipse this long until 3043 AD. So this is the longest annular solar eclipse for this millennium. You know, just starting in the last 10 years into this millennium, so that's pretty cool. The eclipse itself is going to happen at sunrise uh, in Africa, where it's going to start in Congo, going across Kenya, just north of Malindi, uh, south of Mogadishu and Somalia, and it's going to go out to the Indian Ocean, over the Maldives, which for my money probably be the best place. If you're anywhere near Mali in the capital of the Maldives, it's going to pass right over the top. So that's going to be, uh, I would say, the prime spot. You're going to get that maximum annularity very close to there. From there, it's going to pass. Uh, between India and uh, Ceylon, Sri Lanka, and then it's going to go up over Burma, Myanmar, and then over into China, and from the east coast of China around Shanghai, you're going to get a westward-looking, uh, of course, away from the ocean, back over the land, but you're going to have a westward sunset uh, annular eclipse. Again, that's a very good photo op if you get any kind of anything on the horizon out there, anything you can shoot. Uh, right there on the horizon. So this will definitely be a very cool event to get out and see. So that occurs uh, Friday, January 15th, uh, during the day. If, if you are in anywhere in Asia, Africa, um, anywhere from the Philippines, Southeast Asia, you're going to get at least a partial eclipse. East, your Eastern Europe, you'll get a partial eclipse. All right, the second animation was created as seen from the Maldives. Uh, this is the annular eclipse as seen from Mali in the Maldives. You see the moon crossover. Can't quite cover it. Creates a brief ring. You can see Venus in the frame. Incidentally, the frame rotation is because of starry night. It's not the actual motion. But I highly encourage you to get out there and take a look if you can. This is Dave Dickinson signing off for AstroGuys.com.